Welcome back to another episode of the Cleaning Up Business Podcast. Today we have got a slightly different video for you guys. We are going to be doing a day in the life of a podcast host. It is 9.30 now, we are at my house. We have just been down to the office to pick up our podcast studio stuff, because as you know, usually we do it down at HQ. But today we have a special guest at a special venue. So we've got the stuff in the back, Adam's behind the camera. We're gonna jump in and we're gonna head over to our venue. Let's go. So we've just quickly stopped at the local garage for a quick coffee for me, and then we've got to get some petrol before we head up to Tottenham. We're gonna to be there a little bit early. We do that because we can meet our guests, just do a little bit of familiarization, say hello to everybody that's there. Hopefully, we will be able to get a short tour of the facility before we actually sit down and do the podcast. So we usually get there a little bit early on the day, as I say, just to say hello to the team and familiarize ourselves with the site. got our well-known coffee brand, who we won't mention, don't want to give away free advertising when we can charge for it. We've got a short journey, shorter than I thought actually, it's about an hour and 10 minutes according to the sat nav to North London. So let's get up there and see what is going on at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Hey. Oh. So as you can see, we have just arrived at our destination. Today we are at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. But before we go inside and greet our guests and show you guys around, I wanted to talk to you guys about how we procure and interact with our guests prior to getting them on. Obviously, we started the Cleaning Up Business podcast to highlight some of the fantastic stories in the cleaning and hygiene sector. And what we do is we use a mixed approach to approach our guests. We use people that I know in the industry after being in it so long and some of the fantastic stories. And I will reach out to people that maybe know a person that I'm interested in having on the podcast and some people even reach out to us. The main method we use to procure people though is social media. We're aware of certain CEOs, people that are doing big stuff within the cleaning industry and we'll use our social platforms to reach out to these people, hopefully start some conversations and then eventually we end up getting them in a predefined location, usually at our office but sometimes for the bigger guys we have to go out to sites and we find ourselves in situations like we are now where we've got one of the top CEOs at a fantastic venue. So we have managed to finally get through security. As you can imagine, a stadium such as this, especially as they have an event on today, so security was pretty tight. We managed to get a parking space eventually. What people forget, when we're, especially when we're going out to site, is that we have a lot of kit as you can see next to me. We have our podcast center console, which does all the recording and all the audio. We have multiple lights, extension leads, all of our microphones, our cameras that we need. So we do actually have quite a lot of stuff that we need to do. So we've got the site manager from this particular site. He is coming to pick us up in a golf cart buggy and we're gonna take all of our stuff upstairs to where we're filming and then we'll get set up and we'll talk you guys through what we do to get our framing and how we set our equipment. Tell them we've been here. They use it. Uh... interesting like that. What have we got? A box or something? Free, free bar as well. Looking after us. <laughs> so we have arrived in the room that was pre booked for us. Usually, if we're travelling to our guests, we ask them for a room. It's got a relatively neutral background that we can certainly move some kit around if we needed to. So when we arrived, there were some tables behind us that we've moved out of the shop because what we want to do is create a nice, clean background that's nice and clean for the viewer to look at, but it's not too distracting so that they're focusing on both of our guests. So we've done that. We're going to sit 
here, me here, Paul here, and then we've got a nice clear view out to the football stadium behind us. Now we're gonna get our kits out. Piece of kit here is the Rodecaster Pro. This is our main audio recorder that we use to record all of our audio. So this is the hub of everything we do. We can set the volume with the microphones for the guests, etc. This is always hidden out of shot because it lights up quite brightly with various different colors. So this will probably be under the table. That's where it usually lives. And that's where it lives at JCD HQ. And as mentioned, this will capture all of our audio. So we've got our microphone stands that we use when we're out and about on the road. Back at HQ, obviously we have them on boom arms that we use and they're fixed to the table. But with shots like this, they can get a little bit in the way, especially when we're opposite each other. So we use a stand and then the guest and I can move them around as they see fit. They don't take long to put together, screw them on and they're good to go. Plug in the, uh, the lead at the back and plug it into our podcaster unit and then they're set up ready to go. Next up, and one of the most important elements of what we need to do is set up our lighting. So this is obviously to light correctly both of our subjects, both our guest and me as the podcast host. We've got to make sure that they're appropriately lit so they're not too dark or too bright, and also that they're not a funny color, i.e. too orange or too yellow. So we use two lights to do that, one that will focus on the guest and one will focus on me. Let's get them set up. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Next up, we've got our tripod. This will obviously be set up at the end of the table. Adam sends to sit the other side, to make sure everything's going as it should and everything is recording. It gives me a little prompt every now and then to let me know when we're running long with time and what the time is just to keep us on track. Obviously we use the camera that Adam's using, which is a Sony camera. We only have one camera at the moment. We have debated whether we film on multiple cameras as we get further down the line, but we're still early in our podcast journey. So at the moment, we're just recording on the one single Sony camera. Next up, we have an external recorder. Now, most DSLR cameras will have a record limit on them. And as sometimes our podcasts run nearly two hours long, we need this because then it enables us to record unlimited amount of footage in one go and capture it on this device. So we use an external recorder to do so for those longer podcasts. For those of you that watch the channel regularly, most of you will notice on the video versions that I have an iPad with me. The reason for that is we have some notes. They are not specific questions. We don't have a set of questions that we run through. We like to keep the conversation relatively free flowing. But what they do do, they enable me to keep on track with particular points that I want to cover with the guest. And they also enable me to keep track of time so that we don't go off on a rant on different tangents and it keeps it nice and structured for the podcast. So we have all our framing set up, we have our lights set up, we have all of our audio recording kit. I have my iPad with me. Now all is to do is to wait for our guests. So we'll obviously do a meet and greet when Paul gets here with us, and then we'll start our podcast episode and we'll see you guys on the other side. These are bigger than you think, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Perfect. Right, here we go. Welcome back to another episode of the Cleaning Up Podcast. So we just finished our podcast with the CEO at Carlisle, Paul Evans, a super interesting episode, and we'll obviously put that out for you guys to have a look at. Fantastic venue again. Thank you to Paul for having us down and his time and running through his stories. It's one we can't wait for you to see. So we're going to take all the stuff downstairs now, get it back in the car, and then we'll catch up with you guys in a short while. But if there's, if, there's, if there's a way of getting, I don't know, some people, you and a couple of other things. Uh, the private school portfolio, yeah. 20 on site, it's yeah. <laughs> the So we have now packed up all our kit, the kit is back in the car. Always after these episodes, usually you find a built a little bit of rapport with the guest, and that was certainly the case today. So we had some discussions with Paul after, a little bit more about him personally and Carlisle, and he also managed to make an introduction to someone that owns one of the biggest cleaning companies in the UK, and hopefully we'll be able to have them on the channel soon. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get outside the stadium, and then we'll catch up with you guys when we get outside. So we are now outside the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and hopefully this slightly different video has given you a window into what we get up to when we're doing our podcast. We left at 9.30 this morning, it's now 3 o'clock, we've got about an hour and a half drive home. 
Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for us. If you're not following along on your podcast platforms, which the majority of our subscriber base is on YouTube, then make sure you go onto Spotify, Apple Play, or your chosen podcast platform and follow along for more episodes. The episode with Paul will be out in around four weeks time, and it's a super interesting one, so make sure you keep an eye out for that. That wraps up today's video, guys, and we will see you on the next episode of the Cleaning Up Business podcast.